वेलकम टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन फंक्शन ऑफ जीना डायोड एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस दिस इज सिंबल ऑफ जीना डायोड इट है टू टर्मिनल वन इज एनोड वन इज कैथोड दिस इज स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ डायोड इन विच इफ यू फ्लो द करेंट इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन फॉरवर्ड मीन्स एनोड टू कैथोड करंट इज फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस देन इट बी हैज लाइक नॉर्मल डायोड बट इफ यू अप्लाई द वोल्टेज इन रिवर्स डायरेक्शन रिवर्स मीन्स कैथोड वोल्टेज पॉजिटिव एंड एनोड वोल्टेज निगेटिव और कैथोड वोल्टेज मोर देन एनोड वोल्टेज एंड वोल्टेज इन रिवर्स डायरेक्शन बिकम्स इक्वल आर ग्रेटर देन ब्रेक डाउन वोल्टेज ऑफ जीना डायोड then current starts flowing so in zener diode current can flow in both the direction this is characteristic curve of zener diode this is v this is i it operates in two way this side is positive biasing this side is negative biasing this side it behaves like normal diode this side it behaves like zener diode in this side when voltage exceed more than 0.7 volts say for silicon diode current will increase suddenly but we will discuss here zener diode behavior in reverse side when we apply the voltage a small leakage current flows when reverse side voltage crosses ब्रेक डाउन वोल्टेज दिस इज ब्रेक डाउन वोल्टेज दैट करंट विल इंक्रीज सडनली एंड देन वोल्टेज रिमेन्स लेस आर मोर कॉन्स्टेंट जीना डायोड हैज वन डायनामिक रेजिस्टेंस विच इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वी बाई डेल्टा आई सपोज वी टेक टू पॉइंट ए एंड बी दिस लाइन इज नॉट वर्टिकल दिस हैज सम एंगल यू सी लाइक दिस If delta V is the voltage difference between A and V, and delta I Z is the difference in the current at point A and V, then ratio of delta V by delta I is called the dynamic resistance. It can be 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 100 ohm, or so on. Now we come to specifications. This is one example. से जीना डायोड वोल्टेज इज 5.6 पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट इफ यू सी दी डेटा सीट देर विल बी टॉलरेंस से प्लस माइनस फाइव परसेंट तो फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट विल नॉट बी करेक्ट वैल्यू वेन यू मेजर इट मे बी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस फाइव परसेंट आर माइनस फाइव परसेंट आर विद इन दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट एकट वैल्यू यू कैन टेक फाइव या टेन नंबर ऑफ जीना डायोड मेजर द वैल्यू and select one which has closure value now zener diode has three current one is test current what is normal current third is surge current test current means you will get 5.6 volt at this current is the test current for example 45 milliampere if we flow in a zener diode voltage measured across this will be 5.6 volt Second is 160 milliampere, which is continuous current. It can take. Third is surge current. Now you see this current, 810 milliampere, is almost five times compared to 160 normal current. It means for short time, this can take much more current. Say 810 milliampere. This is just example. 810 milliampere for 10 millisecond only, not for longer time. then power loss suppose this zener diode has 5.6 volt current flowing in this is this iz the loss will be vz into iz not this loss or this current current should flow in this that will decide the loss in this so i have written two figure 900 milliwatt and 1300 milliwatt in this case 
this zener diode is rated 1300 milliwatt at 25 degree that is this point this is power derating curve this is temperature this is power till 25 it is 1300 milliwatt if you increase the ambient temperature you have to derate it cannot take 1300 milliwatt it can take less and for example at 70 degree it can take only 900 milliwatt this is just example so you have to derate one more thing is there when they define this power or this current they define lead length also you have to see data sheet carefully now we come to application this is list of 8 applications waveform clipper voltage shift voltage regulator over voltage protection operation amplifier gain control limiter power supply protection voltage reference meter protection out of 8 2 are shown here remaining 6 are in other sheets Now here I have shown Zener diode application in waveform clipper. I have connected two Zener diode in series. But polarity is reverse. In one case cathode is at top, another case anode is at top. So total voltage will be this voltage 5.6 volt plus the drop 0.7 volt is equal to 6.3 volt. This is register to limit the current. When we give input voltage AC, output voltage will not exceed more than 6.3 volts. So output will be red color like this. This drop, this voltage will be 6.3 volt. Then here the not have application in voltage shift. This is voltage, this is time. Green color is input voltage. This voltage will be always less than this equal to this drop. Suppose at this point, at input voltage is this. The output voltage will be this voltage minus this G0 diode drop. So we get this. Now this is another application of G0 diode in voltage regulator. I have connected one register here. This register is connected to limit the current in this. And output voltage will be equal to Zener diode voltage. And current flowing load will be Vz by RL. But the limitation of the circuit is too much variation in RL or load variation is not allowed. It has limitation. To improve that, this is better way. Here I have connected one transistor, NPN transistor, is in a diode current flow like this. Now suppose in a diode voltage is 5.6 volt, then voltage at this point at output will be equal to this voltage minus this voltage, VV voltage. Suppose V voltage is 0 0.6 volt, then voltage at this point will be 5.6 volt minus 0 0.6 volt equal to 5 volt. So we get 5 volt here, not 5.6 volt here. And then load is connected. You can select bigger size of NPN transistor. In this case, load variation can be too much it has lot of range to change the load when we use this kind of circuit then load current flows like this through transistor this is load current and power losses across this transistor will be load current multiply by drop across transistor C E
Now this is another application of renal diode in over voltage production. This is thyristor. I have connected one renal diode in gate. This register is connected to suppress noise. When voltage across this becomes equal or more than the Gina diode, Gina diode will conduct and the gate current will flow like this. Because of this gate current, the thruster will trigger and this will become short. It will not be fully short because there will be a drop of thyristor, a small drop. Now current flow like this. Now there are two ways you can use this. We connect a fuse here. When this becomes short, very high current will flow and the fuse connected here will blow. Second application is, we don't want fuse to blow we want zero volt itself. Whenever voltage across this becomes equal or more than this, we want zero volt. In that case, fuse is not required. In my one project, we wanted like this. We wanted zero volt whenever this voltage exceed more than general diode voltage. Here, I am using general diode as operation amplifier gain control limiter. I have connected two general diode in series in reverse direction. Assume total voltage is 10 volt. This is 0, this is 0. Normal gain of operation amplifier is R2 by R1 if this is not there. When this voltage exceeds more than 10 volt, current starts flowing like this and it will not go more than 10 volt. This provides the dynamic resistance and limit the voltage at this point. In many control application, this voltage should not go to saturation. If it goes to saturation, then response becomes slow. This also helps to protecting this IC. That voltage across this will be limited to 10 volt. Here I view Gina diode as a voltage difference. This is comparator. What happens when there are so many circuits, then this point, supply point, will have some small spikes. If you connect two registers here, that spike will pass over here also. But if we connect a Gina diode, the, this point will be stable. The voltage difference will be stable for the comparator. This register I have connected such that we get the hysteresis. If we don't connect this, hysteresis function will not be there. This is Gina diode application power supply production. This is small register to limit the current. I have told in the beginning the Gina diode has short time current rating much higher than normal current. The short time rating is used here. Whenever pulse comes here, say spikes comes here, the current flows like this. This can take heavy current and this voltage will not go more than Gina diode voltage. So this R, this C, this Gina diode together provide the power supply protection. But because of this resistance, this voltage will be little lower than this or it will have some little unregulation. If you can afford that, then this circuit is very good for power supply protection. This is meter protection. I have connected one Gina diode like this. When voltage across this becomes more than this, current flow like this. But then full current will flow like this. We have to select a proper rating of the general diode, otherwise it will fail. Or we have to put another fuse or some other thing here to limit this current. 
today we will close here itself